Hi, my name is Nick Letersky and welcome to Tassavon. Today I'm going to run you through our iPad beverage application. This will help you sell Tassavon better in the market. Today we're going to run through a demonstration of Tassavon. Tassavon is the most comprehensive iPad beverage application in the industry. What you're viewing here is called the billboard. The billboard displays the logo over the top, which can be interchangeable at any point. In the middle, you have images, images in which you can change. They could be images of food, images of beverages, images of your establishment. That the great feature is that you can change this seasonally to keep promoting your restaurant throughout the year. And another feature is this little black box. This is a little black box that you can put a welcome to the restaurant or thank you for joining us. It's an also an area for you to uh, advertise an upcoming event or wine dinner. One of the neat features in this little black box is the PDF feature. When I touch that hand, it opens up a PDF. This could be one page, it could be 15 pages. As you can see here, Aubert's de Soleil features join our wine club. One of the really neat features about this is when you touch this email right up in the top, the guests sitting at the table can email themselves the information to their email account. Now the great feature is the restaurant keeps that email for future marketing. Think of this area at the bottom as your first page on your beverage list. Similar to what you have currently right now as your table of contents, you have this area listed right here. Martinis and craft spirits, wine, beer, rare and collectible. The neat thing about this is they're completely customizable. You have the ability to call those buttons whatever you'd like. We also have a full list of icons. If you'd like to choose a different icon for your list, that is available as well. When you touch one of the buttons, it opens up to two additional buttons. Again, fully customizable, fully customizable on the buttons. Now I'd like to take you into the list itself. And to start off, we're gonna go into wine by the bottle. So I simply hit wine and then into by the bottle. Now what we've done is open the list. So think of it as turning the first page of your wine list. And when we turn the first page of our wine list, the great thing we see here is navigational features. Over the top, you can always go back to that original feature, which is the home. You have sparkling, white, rosé, red, and dessert. Through a lot of our testing, we found that when people walk into a restaurant, they're often already directed to a white or a red before they even open the list. So we give you the ability to touch one of those sections, and it basically takes you to the section similar to on a paper wine list if you grab multiple pages. Now, one of the neat features is if you touch the browse button right here, it opens up your house list. Think of the house list as currently the way you write your paper wine list. Whether it be varietally, regionally, or a play on words, when you touch one of the sections, similar to what I'm gonna to touch now, sommelier's picks, it takes me right to that section on the wine list. Great thing about the house list is it's fully customizable for you. We tell our customers, be very creative on your house list because the next opportunity is searching by grape. So if I come into the restaurant and I want to search out a Chardonnay, I would simply hit Chardonnay and it would take me to that section on the list. The next way that people shop for wine is price. The great thing about this feature is we allow you as the restaurateur to create those categories. So if $3 signs to you is $40 to $60, $4 signs is $60 to $80, that's completely up to you. And when we hit that section, again, it takes us straight there. The next area in the way that people shop for wine is region. So you hit the little icon that looks like a mountain and that's called by region. Now when you touch an area for white, Russian River Valley, it goes straight to Russian River Valley. Now, let's say I'm on this page and I want to go straight to buy the glass. I decided I'm not going to have buy the bottle. The great thing about Tostamon is you don't have to go all the way back to the home screen. You can simply touch buy the bottle and it opens up the other features of where you want to be directed on the list without going back and starting over. So if I hit buy the glass, it simply starts and takes me to buy the glass. If I go back in and I want to go to rare and collectibles, it takes me to rare and collectibles. And we're going to go back to buy the glass and buy the bottle. Now, one of the great features on Tostavon is if you want to search something, Having the ability to search something on a wine list with a key word or phrase, or even a specific wine for that matter, you simply hit the search function, type in a wine, and it's going to search out anything on the list with the word Jordan in it. Again, it pulls up all the Jordan wines, but it also pulls up a wine with the word Jordan in it. 
So it's a completely searchable feature. So if you're talking about zesty, buttery, oaky, you have the ability to search out those wines on there. One of the neat features on this particular screen is there's always a help button. We want to make it easy. So you can touch the iPad, it shows you how to do that, it shows you the search functions, and it shows your view selections. So now that we've gone through all the navigational features on this particular page, let's go into the first beverage shown, the Ace of Spades Brute. So when we open up the Ace of Spades Brute and any one of our beverages on the program, what you have now is a full listing of information about any one of your products, whether it be a cocktail, beer, or spirit. You have information like the logo, multiple images, in which you can add any image you'd like. Over the top, the Ace of Spades, it's a recommended wine. Anything you want to recommend for a wine, you can add a red ribbon on it. That is fully functional to change every single day. For wine, it's a red ribbon. For beer, it's a beer cap. And for spirits, it's a wax step. It talks about it's a champagne blend. It's a non-vintage, the name of the producer, where it's from, the alcohol. Also, the ability to show scores on any one of your products, the price to the guest, and sommeliers note. If you want to add a personal touch, the greatest thing about our system is we're not taking anyone's job away. We're not taking anyone's position. All we're doing is enhancing exactly what your establishment does extremely well in a new vessel. So with the sommelier's note, if I have a personal note as the sommelier and I'd like to talk about this wine, great. I could put the owner loves this wine as we put down here today, or possibly I visited the winery. It's a fantastic expression of champagne. Now about this wine and information about the product. We have over 150,000 products in our database and it grows every single day. Where do we get our information? We get our information straight from the producers. We load it into our database and you as the restaurateur has the ability to grab it at any moment. We also have the ability to do suggested pairings and I'm gonna show you that more specifically when we get into the menu portion of suggested pairings. We can go and expand the font for those diners that have the, the viewing problems and we can lower it back down. Another one of the features that a lot of our restaurants are taking advantage of is one of the features that we are only the ones to offer you, and it's our video application. So let's go, and I'm gonna show you one of our fine supplier partners. And we're gonna type in, there's that search feature we talked about. And we open up, and we're gonna go into Jordan 2011. As we noticed, the restaurant has also recommended this wine with a red ribbon. We can scroll over multiple images as I discussed before, but here's the video feature. When you touch the video feature, it opens up. Now the great thing about this video feature is you can have the sound off. If you wanna have the sound on, that's completely up to you, but a lot of the suppliers are definitely wanting this information to be out there. They're willing to do subtitles as well. So you have this beautiful feature for your restaurant guests. As we viewed this video, we can now say, this is a great wine. We would like to consider this for our dining experience. In this feature right here, we have a little button called consider this. I, as the guest, can touch that button and drop it on down to Tostavon. And it goes into now my selections. I'm gonna do a couple for you to show you this example. So we'll go into red and let's say we wanna try the 97 Jordan wines. And we go into consider this. Now, when I hit my selections, a drawer pops up, if you will. This is an area where you could do multiple wines, cocktails, beers, and spirits. It's a great opportunity for a table of, let's say six, of eight, to interact. Oftentimes you'll find one person will have the wine list completely to themselves, keeping everyone out from ordering beverages. This gives you an opportunity to have everyone interact at the table and order multiple beverages. Now, when you go into this feature, you can also email yourself what you're looking at. When you do hit email, you can send all that information right to your home email or to whomever you'd like and share what you're having at, the, at that dining experience. Now, with this, we do not send any kind of orders directly to a POS system. We don't take the human element out of it. So I would still tell the waiter, I'd like a bottle of Jordan 2011 Chardonnay, and they would still take the order. We never wanna change your steps of service. What you do is incredible. So we wanna make sure that all we're doing is enhancing it. So again, I now just emailed myself. The restaurant gets to keep my email address for future marketing and I get to send a thank you for ordering a bottle of Jordan Chardonnay. 
And when choosing a wine, guests often want to pair that perfect dish with the perfect wine. And sometimes we find that the sommelier is extremely busy or the uh, waiter can't come to the table right away and they're considering a certain dish with a certain wine. We have a feature in the bottom left hand corner, a feature in which our competitors don't have. Most of our competitors, what they do is they take a specific meat item, like a chicken or a beef, and they just pair it together. We all know that there are specific preparations and specific sauces with the dish. So what you have here is the ability, we've loaded your complete menu in there for you. And let's say we start with the scallops, and then we choose the mahi-mahi. When we hit view pairings, it's now gonna suggest wines based off of what I'm eating. Not only one dish, but multiple dishes. The great thing about this is, we let the sommelier or the wine buyer make all those decisions. So when that sommelier or wine buyer can't be at every single table at every single time, still their influences are happening during the dining experience. We can also go through different by the glass and by the bottle. You can sort it. Again, when you're on this page and you're in pairings, you can do all the same functionality. I go back to canceling pairings and it takes me back. And as we just went through wine, I want to show you a couple of the other features that a lot of our restaurants take advantage of. We talked about martinis and craft spirits and also beer. So when we go into martinis and craft spirits, let's take a look at the martini list that's listed on here. So over the top, we have all the specialty cocktails for the particular establishment. The name of the cocktail, the ingredients, even the logo of the featured spirit in there as well. When you touch that spirit, now it shows a beautiful picture of the cocktail. As one of our services, we come in and take pictures of your cocktails and your glassware. This allows us to work with your team and with your marketing team to get those beautiful shots for your guests to see. On this screen, as I mentioned with the wine, you have the ability to do multiple information, including information about the cocktail. And coming back out, let's say I wanna to go to the full list. I go to the full list and you can list all your spirits. So if you wanna talk about whiskeys, bourbons, scotches, and I'll pop in a whiskey, and it'll show all the information right in there about a specific spirit that you have on your back bar. Same thing with uh, spirits, we also have the beer. And we'll go in to buy the bottle for beer, and we can choose an item. There's the cap that rolls in that's suggested, similar to the wine, images of the brewery, even a video for Heineken on the brewery. Now, as I mentioned with wine, we can also do beer and spirits, and we're one of the only uh, companies in the industry with beer and spirits pairings. In addition to wine, beer, and spirits, we also have restaurants that commonly put their meal additions on there and their specials. That can be done with the last button. We can do images of the food, pictures, and you can change that again daily if you'd like. So we've gone through all the functionality of the iPad itself. Now I'm gonna show you some of the administrational features of the unit. So to get into any of those features, we offer a two finger swipe. What that's gonna open up is something that's commonly used by bartenders and waiters. The first thing that they're gonna to get to see is table activity. As you notice, these are the items that we selected for our uh, possibly ordering for the beverages. As you notice, these are the items that we looked at when we were going through the beverage process. These are what the current table is viewing. Not only the beverages that we considered inside of our uh, dropdown, but also the beverages that we viewed. This is a great opportunity to see what the table's looking at instead of just telling you what they ordered. So now you know much more. It gives you an opportunity for much best, better customer service. There's also an area for 86 list. When you hit 86 list, think of waiter would be off for two days and they don't know what you've been out of for two days. So you come in, you can grab this, any iPad in the room, see what the 86 is for that particular night. Or recently added. Anything that was recently added in the last seven days, if you're off for a couple days, you can get to see what was added on the list. Now, to take it a step further, we press the admin button. When we go into admin, it asks us for a pin. This is a pin that'll be given to you when you set up the restaurant. You can do managerial pins and you can decide what that pin might be. We first go into update and sync. This is where we manage the actual device itself and we can force updates in there. One of the key features about Tassavon is the iPads are syncing every three minutes or less in your restaurant. That allows us that if Wi-Fi ever went down in your restaurant, the guest won't feel the effect because you're gonna have a fully operational beverage list, whether it's on, on Wi-Fi or not on Wi-Fi. There's also a manual tab 
This is an area, so you might have a new employee that starts. This will give them a complete tutorial for education on the iPad itself. And then also inventory. This is the area where we capture all the inventory for the restaurant. Now, with the POS systems, we can fully integrate and capture your inventory real time. So how do we do that? Well, each item is tagged with an inventory count. This particular item has 69 bottles in inventory. Every time a bottle or a glass or a size is ordered through POS, the POS sends a one-way informational street to the iPads and decrements it down automatically one bottle. Now we've taken it from 69 to 68. Automatically when it's done with POS or you have the ability to manually adjust your inventories. So we can now do inventories right off the iPad, get rid of those pencils and clipboards, and you can take a full physical inventory right off the iPad. The beauty of it is all of this is exportable into Excel. So what you're currently using, we're not gonna take away that, we're just gonna enhance it. Now we can also do wine, beer, and spirits right off the iPad as well, and we can do an order. So we talk about what do we need in the restaurant? Do we need to order a certain bottle of wine or a certain bottle of beer? You would simply hit pick list, and it's now gonna tell you all the wines that are below par on your list that you need to order by vendor. You can sort the list by white, you can sort the list by red, you can sort the list by rosé, any way you'd like. And then you can also go into a completed inventory and unfinished inventory as well, because we all know restaurants do inventories once a month. Thank you for going through the iPad demonstration. Now I'm gonna show you the portal demonstration of where you update all of your units. One of the great features of Tassavon is the opportunity to log into the portal from anywhere. You simply use an email and a password. And that email and a password is given to you by our company and you can decide what your password's gonna be. Once you log in, you will now see what we call the dashboard. The great thing about the dashboard is it's a self-contained system. The portal is completely filled with all the information about your beverage program. This allows you to not have to go through multiple PDF files or Excel files on your computer to find the information. All that information is self-contained right in the Tastavon portal. So one thing I wanna to talk to you about is one of our best features, it's our customer service. We have the finest customer service in the industry. Not only do we have a feature listed right on your dashboard called support chat, but we also have email and our 1-800 number to get a hold of us if you have any questions or concerns. One of the great features that we offer, if you choose to take it, is you can request a list edition. With this feature, you can allow our team and technicians to completely manage your list, allowing you to be on the floor with your guests. On the dashboard, you can add a user, add a wine, add a beer, add a spirit, add a food. You can even print the wine menu. One of the features that we do offer is you can print the wine list real time of what's happening with the iPads. So if you choose to hand a paper wine list to a guest, you have that ability. Over the top, obviously our home screen is called our dashboard. Our beverages are where we adjust any one of our wines, our beers, or our spirits within our list. And I'm gonna show you wines really quick. So this is laid out exactly the way your iPad is. Very, very simple to navigate, very, very easy. Food is something where we will take your food menu, and we talked about the pairings, we will load that in. We will also assign it to whatever menu you would like it on, whether it be a lunch menu or dinner menu. Inventory, as I showed you the inventory in the back of the iPad, you can also update your inventories off the portal. The great thing about this is you can be from anywhere in the country, you can log in and see exactly what's selling in your restaurant and also do your orders. As I mentioned earlier, you can export all of this into Excel, which you're probably using currently. Managing your restaurant, it's fantastic. Information about your address, time zones, all the things that are pertinent about your restaurant. Files, again, these are files. We showed that PDF that's on there. Settings, we can do individual default settings for wines by the glass and how many you'd like to pour. And also menus and social media. The great thing about social media is you can connect your, your company to Facebook and Twitter, so when you add a new beverage to your menu, it will automatically tweet that out to all of your fans out in the industry. Reports, great thing about reports is we often find that POS systems are extremely cumbersome and very, very time consuming. 
As long as your system's integrated with Tassavon, it'll allow you to pull any one of these reports on the side on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. And again, send it to export and you could be sitting poolside. Thank you very much for taking the opportunity to go through the backend portal. This is just one of the incredible benefits of having Tastavon in your beverage program. Well, I hope you enjoyed our presentation today. I wanna to tell you about now I, what I believe is the best part of this presentation. It's our pricing. Our pricing is the most competitive in the industry. So when, you're, when you would like to start with the system, we will charge you $15 a month for the application. You will provide the iPads and you will own the iPads. We will only charge you $15 a month per application put on the iPad. The additional costs are insurance. You were probably thinking throughout the presentation, how do I keep these from walking out the door? We have the lowest insurance in the industry. We can offer that to you for $30 a year per unit, okay? $30 a year per unit covers you on breakage, theft, loss of any kind. Then the setup. The setup is $1,200. That will not only include us to set up the entire system of all your wines, categorize them completely, all your beers, all your specialty cocktails, but it will also include two days of training. We'll come in and set up the system completely and train everyone on the staff using the system. I know you've seen one of our fine accounts that are listed here today. But if I can send you a list of our other accounts, we work with Four Seasons, we work with Ritz Carlton, Ritz Chris Steakhouse, The Palm Steakhouse, and that's all listed on our website. Thank you for viewing my demonstration of Tostavon today. I really appreciate your time. I know by adding Tostavon to your beverage program, you will not only increase your beverage sales, but enhance your guests' overall experience. Thank you.